to start with, Chris, um, if you were to define FEMA's actual role in a disaster, just in, in brevity, really, but what, and honestly, I have coming from a complete place of ignorance. I truly don't know. So what is FEMA's actual role uh, in, the, in, in a disaster? So in a disaster, FEMA's role really revolves around um, helping to support the, the state or the tribe or the local area that is, is really in need of assistance at that time. So we're, we're coming in to be the, the supporters of, of what the, the locality particularly needs in that specific disaster. Well, our job overall is helping people before, during, and after disasters, plain and simple. So our ability to come in in a disaster um, is really, it's predicated on our abilities before the disaster to formulate those partnerships to formulate the plans to help support the the either the tribe or the locality or or the uh, the territory or the state in in their emergency response plans and then once there there is a disaster um, to help them execute those plans to to but to be there as a primary support to what they need to have done uh, to help uh, in their response and in their recovery. With the word um, management in the actual acronym, what is it that you, um, sort of technically speaking, what is it that you actually manage? <laughs> that's a, that's I, a and I don't mean that. I don't mean that facetiously. I know it sounded. No, no. I just, no, but I just truly want to know. What's it, what do you actually manage? Emergency management in in in, in totality is, is just that. It's it's our functional abilities to manage all the facets of the emergency. So we look at again, with our partnership to support the state, the local, the tribal partners, um, to respond to the incident, to support their recovery. Uh, we coordinate our federal resources, uh, our state support and local efforts. So really, when you think about it, our job at FEMA is to be the access point to the, to the depth and breadth of the federal government to help bring those resources to bear to help states and tribes and and localities and territories build back up now think on the ground think yeah. it's hit the fan mm -hmm. uh and everybody's scrambling to do what they can and organizing to do what they can a little bit of both going on uh in that scenario um because preparation and stuff we're gonna i'll be alluding to your website and places like that as well local governments websites as well but in that recovery scenario I almost want to ask you what kind of frustrates FEMA representatives in, in the way that what do you wish people knew that they don't seem to know and they don't seem to get when they're when they're in the recovery stages of a disaster? Um, I think that's that's something that I I'm really sympathetic to the the challenges that that people face when a disaster happens at 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 the at at where you said where where it's where it's occurring and and when that occurs there is some chaos and so it is best to follow the advice of your local officials so try to have a way to to get that information know how you're going to get the information before the disaster that's one way that we can really help people uh in their response and recovery is, is if they're informed um another thing that i think is really important for people to know is um, that insurance, having insurance before the disaster is a, is a big part of, of really, uh, fast tracking your disaster recovery. Uh, and, and if you don't have insurance it is it's, it's that much harder to, to recover. Uh, and I think the, the, the last thing that I would really underscore is recovery. It's not a fast process recovery. Uh, is rebuilding a community after it's been destroyed, probably in moments by mother nature, but it took us a long time to build that community in the first place. And it will take a while to build it back. And so, um, there is that expectation that recovery comes really quickly and recovery, uh, is not quick. What can FEMA not do? What, what are they not? The thing that comes to mind when when you ask the question about what FEMA uh, cannot do is FEMA cannot uh, 
play the role of an insurance company. We, we are not insurance. Uh, we are uh, assistance. Uh, mm -hmm. And federal assistance from FEMA provides funding for basic repairs to a home to be safe and sanitary and livable. Uh, we can provide rental assistance for a period of time, um, but we are not the insurance company. We're not going to be able to help make people whole with our other partners that we go into disaster uh, response and recovery with, with non-governmental organizations, with our state and local partners, and, and with the private sector. That whole community really helps to round out uh, what the recovery package looks like. And I think together we can really help folks through uh, get up on that road of recovery. So I'm, I'm devastated. It's day three after a massive hurricane. My, my apartment is destroyed. My car is destroyed. I'm stuck. I've got some rations and handouts. I've got some water distributed. National Guard, Guards men and women have been around. The police aren't quite up to going. They're dealing with their own issues with their family. So we're, we're in the mess of it. Um, how do I how do I reach out to FEMA? Do I reach out to FEMA in that state at that time? And sort of like when and how does does the victim reach out to, to FEMA? That makes sense. Yeah, great question. So so I think first and foremost is that local government capability and, and seek out your what do you need to survive? Your 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 food, your water, um, communications. Those are the basics right off the bat. Once that's stable. Um, yeah, absolutely. Contact FEMA uh, to, um, you know, request uh, or an, actually apply for assistance. If you've got, you've got a damaged, uh, you, your scenario was a damaged apartment or you've got a damaged dwelling uh, and you can't really live in that damaged dwelling, this is a great opportunity to call 1-800-621-FEMA uh, or better yet, uh, if you've got connectivity, uh, online connectivity through your smartphone, you can you can use the internet or a smartphone app. Uh, go to disasterassistance.gov or uh, download the, the the FEMA app prior to. That's the the big kicker. You know, as part of a good preparedness effort, everybody should have the FEMA app on their phone and be ready for that. It is important to note that um, there must be a presidentially declared disaster in order for FEMA to assist. We don't go to every disaster because sometimes disasters are things that the states or the local or the tribe or the territory is able to handle themselves. So um, first and foremost is also to know, is there a presidentially declared event? And if, if that's the case, then of course, reach out to, to FEMA if you're in a place where you are uh, you, you don't have stable living environment. A friend of mine was telling me from Irma Maria, Irma Maria, as they call it, they combine Irma and Maria together, that FEMA had done a wonderful job of arranging for uh, certain supplies. But what happened was on the ground locally, nobody had anything organized. And so a cargo full of, of fresh water sat on a tarmac for five days. It wasn't FEMA's fault. They did their job. They brought everything in, but nobody on the ground could, if you will, get their act together. And uh, and um, and so and that's and he and this guy studies storms all the time. And he was he was very complimentary of FEMA, saying FEMA did exactly what they were, are supposed to do. They were here, but we couldn't get our act together to, to work with them to get this stuff distributed to people who couldn't even drive out of their driveway, kind of thing. So um, the last question I have for you is kind of more for me uh, than anything else is so. Um, how is it determined uh, if and when FEMA is engaged? How, how, with obviously, without the long political answer, how, how is it determined? Um, it's ultimately determined at the at, at the president. The president determines uh, our involvement, uh, and that's based on a state or territorial or tribal executive request to the president for assistance. Uh, that request usually indicates that the uh, the state or the tribe or the territory is is overwhelmed, uh, and we typically assess that through a preliminary damage assessment that we do jointly with um, the officials that are there where the incident took place, uh, and we do a uh, a, a survey of, of the damages and and validate that. But at the end of the day. 
the decision is made based on a request from the executive of the jurisdiction to the president. And when there is that uh, nod for us to say, yes, it is a major uh, presidential disaster declaration or there is an emergency declaration, that puts uh, FEMA to work. Okay. One last question then, Chris, what do you, uh, as, as a person who works with disasters, what, what, do you, what do you personally wish people got about all of this? I really feel like it's important for people to be a part of their um, preparedness, response, and recovery. Uh, I, I am a big believer in empowering people to um, to to create their destiny, but give them the support to do so. And so, in a disaster, um, there's a foundation there. Uh, but preparedness, having a plan. Uh, is important, even if it's a simple plan of if something bad happens, we're going to go, we're going to go out and meet at the tree, or we're going to go out and do, uh, we're going to call, we're going to have a rally point, and we're going to call our relatives in another location and let them know we're okay. Uh, simple things like that, just to start to have a, a plan and think about that, I think helps us all. We all have a responsibility when it comes to what we do when there's a disaster and in this country we all are subject to disasters at all times of the year and it's we really must be able to plan for that and 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 pay attention to it's easy to forget but it pays dividends when you have that plan and certainly there are resources that we have to help people think about those plans because you know not everybody is a is a disaster expert and i appreciate that and so uh, resources on ready.gov really help people can understand what, what they need to do to help make simple plans to help uh, them in a disaster. 